This week in 3D Archer, you can take a quick look at the Walking Meerkat target by Long Life Archer. Hey everybody, welcome to 3D Archer, Greg here. Alright, the Walking Meerkat target by Long Life Archery. <coughs> Got this target from my archery club. One of the members found it online, bought it, and donated it to the club. Because we're trying to make a small game course. And you know what? It's small. Right? So, one thing before we go on, they did the eyes. They did that, and they put the yellow dot there. It doesn't come like that, so just understand that right off the bat. The person who did it thought it looked cooler like that. All right? So first up, let's take a look the specifications. Alright everybody, now that we got through the uh, specs, let's just talk about the target. It is small, but that's what I want, a small target. The foam used is very unique. Now being from Germany, I think they have a different material. This foam is in between a Delta McKenzie and a Reinhardt type of foam. It's very light. And light foams usually mean it's pretty hard. But, as you can see, it's, it's pretty soft. So they, he found a good compromise between the two. Uh, when you make a target, the hardest thing is the line where the two halves of the form meet. And I have to say, this guy has the tightest line I've seen. Delta McKenzie usually has the widest. Reinhardt's pretty good. Me, I'm in between. But this, this is fantastic. I mean, you can barely see that line. That is some good work on his behalf. All right? You have your two holes here for stakes. And this, what you see here, that's actually the where he pulled in the, poured in the material. Uh, it's a pretty good target. Right? I think it's going to be a great attraction. Like I said earlier... They don't come like that. That was added by the person who bought it. So is that. They made it easier so people can see where the uh, the X is. All right, and there you have it. So there it is. Quick look at it. But now, let's give you some hits and misses. Okay, everybody, time for hits and misses. Up first is the hits. So the Long Life Meerkat Target. Biggest hit is it's unique. You're not, if you're in the U.S., you're not going to find this almost anywhere else. Um, just don't find them, right? In Europe, a lot more common, but here in the States, it's one of a kind, and that will always set your shoot apart. Next is the details. This thing has really good details. They paid attention to a, the line in the target where the two halves of the form meet is so thin, it's, you can almost not even see it. And that shows an, an incredible attention to detail. And finally, is its weight. This thing's light, right? Now, that can be a bad thing, I mean, in certain conditions. But this is easy, small, so it's not going to weigh anything. You can pour it around, just put it on the ground and shoot it and have a great time with it. So there you have it. That's the hits. Just three of them, right? And up next is the misses. All right, everybody, the misses, right? I only got one. And that's the availability. I went online, Google, found a couple places, mainly in Europe. I couldn't find it in the States, although um, Lancaster carried it, and so did Custom King, but they don't have any in stock right now. And that's the biggest downside. You want it, you're going to have to search for it. All right, everybody, there you have it. The hits and misses on the walking meerkat target. I like it. I think it's going to be a great addition to our course, and it could be a good one for yours. You want a challenging shot? This is the target. All right. Don't forget to check out my website, 3darchery.net. I've been adding more courses to it, more states. I'm slowly but surely building the database. I've added a couple more um, traditional archery shoots that I found, festivals, the Bob Lee and the Howard Hill. It's an ongoing process, but I'm hoping to make it the ultimate resource for 3D archery. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time with an all new episode, 3D Archer.